Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Tech Tyro. It's Riley Miller here. I am your illustrator professional, um, to say the least. I will be showing you today on pixel mapping, or um, how to lock in pixels in a grid to make it look like you have a 3D box shape. Um, it was at a request of Keith on how to pixel things. So. Uh, I'm first going to show you how to do a 2D pixel and then a 3D pixel. Mind blasting. So, uh, the most important thing is grabbing reference material if you want to find something that you want to turn into a pixel or if you want to find something at all that you want to draw. I highly recommend getting references. Um, we'll go here to handy Google. 8-bit, uh, 8-bit, uh, a heart. Um, okay, that one's simple enough. No, that's a GIF. Damn. Um, let's do this one, because this one looks like it's got depth to it. Uh, save this one wherever. Uh, and then we will switch over to our sign here. That's just my last tutorial. Close. New. CMYK. Uh, okay, so what we have here is our artboard. If you don't want it to be in those dimensions, you can go to the artboard tool and shift it here. We've got our width and our height. Right now it's 2.5 by 3.5. We'll go over to, I like working at like a paper's height, so we'll say 11 by 3.5. Click on our tool, get out of that. Double click the hand tool, it zooms out everything. So. We'll start off by dragging and dropping that picture onto our artboard. Drag and drop. So we got our heart. If you hold down shift, shift and drag, you got your size. Doesn't matter if it's all resi. Uh, control to lock it. And we will start off by making it kind of an oblong pixel. So you want to set up your window with um, ruler. Ruler, 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 where are you at? And new. There you go. We will go to view, rulers. Show rulers. View, and then we want our guides. Smart guides, perspective grid, show grid. So now we've got our grid. This grid will help you out a lot. Um, and we want, right now it's on snap to point. We'll also go snap to grid. Now any shape that we put up, the corners will link up to each of these grids. Uh, hold down the rectangle, see like this. It snaps all the points. You drag it around. It's always on those squares. And I'm pretty sure you can tweak the size too. On the guides, we'll get into that later though. Right now we'll focus on just a grid and pixelating this thing. So if you hold down shift when you drag it out, you get your own box. And right now we'll keep the sizes to about there. Make sure it's fast. Um, and now I think the easiest way is usually starting at the outside and working your way in. So we'll start at the top. If you hold down alt and drag, you can just drag it along and kind of go for the basic shape of our heart here. With pixel art, you only go by corners, so the more detail you want, the smaller the boxes you'll have to bring. For other pixel art, I mean, you can always break the rules. There's no just way of making pixel art. The benefit to staying within just the corners, though, is that you're always on a grid now, and you don't have to worry about shapes overlapping and piece is not fitting. And then after, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the fill of all the boxes, and I will show you why. There's no point making them all one color, but we'll keep the stroke on so we have our grid up, and it'll help us in making somewhat of a, a tone shift between all the boxes. So when there's no um, stroke on it, it looks like it's a less than gradual gradient kind of transition from one color to another. The 
good part about Illustrator in this method is that right now all the box boxes center on um, a certain color and so it identifies the regions for you already that you need to take the colors from. Okay, right now looks like a heart and it doesn't look like a heart with much perspective because you can't really tell with pixel art but we'll just edit some of these because why not? Okay, so there's our heart. What we're going to do here, uh, maybe I'll put one up there too, just for good measure. Now it looks like it's coming at you in pixel form. We'll take this, take off the interior color, actually, and give it the stroke that we want. So we turn off the fill, did the opposite of what I wanted. Give it a stroke. And then as we go through here, we'll select it, I, and we'll just go about between V and I of selecting each box and then picking a color. And if you miss, just control Z and you can fix that. Just be careful when you're doing your color selection because when you do that, you might just color select the same color. So this is a tedious process, but the payoff is huge pixel art. Now it's going to look like some detailed piece of art out of Minecraft. This is where shortcuts come in handy so much. Speed it up 110%. Right now I'm just switching through V and I. I normally use a Wacom pen, but for precision, the best way to do it is a mouse and a steady hand like a surgeon. Although if you want to practice up on your pen skills, I mean, go for it. It's the best way to get better is just by practicing. Soon, who knows, it might be an extension of your arm. But for now, for speed and for not going into the isolation mode on all of these squares, I'm just using the mouse. All right, if you watched that whole thing, all the power to you. Um, this is gonna be the first series of the pixelation thing. Right now, control alt two, we'll delete this guy. There you have it, you got a heart. And we will zoom out to there. Perfect pixelated heart with tones and everything. So yeah, that's series one. Thanks for watching. Come back for series two where I show you how to make uh, pixel object three-dimensional in some sense.